friend is really my brother. Eight orphan children find their superheroes. You're three Clark, their oldest child. So it was mom, dad, and four kids living in this wonderful middle-class neighborhood. It's the only home I ever knew. I had a wonderful childhood. I'm Steve Barbin, and I was born in uh, December 17, 1952, to adoptive wonderful parents, Jean and Omar Barbin. In 1975, I walked into a, a bar restaurant and ordered a beer, and very quickly noticed uh, a guy sitting next to me, and he was drinking a beer. I said, hey, I'm Gary. He said, yeah, my name's Steve. And we just started talking, and it became a very close friendship with uh, a guy that ultimately became my best friend. I wanted to Gary to be my best man because we had forged such a friendship beyond a friendship and it was a, it was a special moment. We were like brothers and then uh, little did we know that everything very very shortly as we went into the new year of 1999 that everything would change. I got a call from a caseworker. The woman told me that I was an adopted child and I was stunned. I spent 52 years of my life believing that I was the firstborn child of Benjamin and Marjorie Clark, and then finding out I was really the seventh child in a family of 13 kids that my biological parents gave away nine of their 13 children. And then I said to this lady, I said, well, you know what? My best friend is adopted, so I'm okay. Then I'm adopted like him. And then the story got deeper more convoluted she said to me who is your best friend and I said Steve Barbin at that point she said to me do you have his telephone number I said ma'am if you're gonna tell me that Steve Barbin my best friend in the whole world for over half of my life is really my full blood brother you would be giving me the greatest gift in the world I get a phone call a woman says to me, is there anybody close to you that has ever said, you are so alike, you could be like brothers? And at that point, I said to her, are you telling me that Gary Howard Clark is my blood brother? I called Gary and I says, Gary, do you believe this? It's wonderful to know that my blood and his blood is the same blood that, that beats within our system. That is the extraordinary bond. And it's something that wasn't manufactured or came along after the fact. It's something that was there from the beginning. I just love him. I love him. I love him. He's the kindest, most decent person I've ever known in my life. I hope I get off the planet before he does. Sorry. It's so mind-boggling to me how you can take two people that meet each other start up a conversation then to have on top of that them become so close but almost like identical twins in some way yeah. the way we think and then to find out years later that you actually are blood brothers that's extraordinary that is extraordinary i think you're right